How do we get these tickets again? Oh, I won them in a silent auction. Oh, when you got them, I assumed we were seeing a lecture about, you know, pioneers, people who blaze trails, settlers. You know, I'm a trailblazer. I'm the first woman in Portland to ever wear jeans. Oh. Huh. Incredible, look at that. They're so good at this. These people are the best at what they do. It's very balletic. It's, it's, it's like dance. I like it. What is this? I guess it's over. No, I, I think it's, it's just a, a time out. Oh, look at this. Who are they? What is this? Why aren't they barely wearing anything? This is a private dance. This is a dance you do in your backyard under the full moon. You know, this isn't something you do in the middle of a court. No. Cover your eyes, everybody. This isn't a show. Does anyone want to see my master's degree or my collection of books? Let them speak! Allow them to talk! This is a crime. I, I, I want to speak to someone. Let's, let's talk to management. Yeah, we have to. I'm glad you guys came in today, because anybody that comes to a Blazer game deserves my interest and my support. Great. But I really think this is a conversation for our choreographer. It just seemed odd that the only women on the floor were there as entertainers. They could have helped with the ball. There were times where the ball was dirty and needed cleaning. Well, that's a little sexist, don't you think? No. What she was saying was, if it was dirty, some of the men could have cleaned the ball while they dunked and threw the ball around. Oh, oh OK. Um, I don't know how you got the appointment. I'm kind of in the basketball portion of the trailblazer. The shorts that the women were wearing were so small, I felt like they were growing right out from their asshole. And instead of them dancing in their short shorts and doing this, and this, and this, they could be telling us something about themselves. Yeah, you know, I just don't think most of our fans have any interest in anything outside of watching our players play basketball. Who gives a flying f about the fans? I just don't know how I'm supposed to help you today. We would love the opportunity to work with the Blazers dancers and uh, the way that they perform on the court. Oh, so you guys are choreographers. We're Imagineers. Okay, so can we make a deal? If I give you access to the dancers in a controlled environment, do you promise to never ever come here again? Even as friends, we can't come and say hi. No, but you know what? What I can do is, why don't you take these official trailblazer caps? Thank you. And we'll go set up a meeting, okay? You look so good in that hat. I bet I do. If you wanna take a chance, girl, take my hand and come with me. I'll be Stop the music, you stop. Stop the music. <laughs> stop for a moment. Hi. Drop the pom-poms. This is a safe space. And this is a new regime. I'm Tony. I'm Candace. You're in a space that is woman-centric. You're women. What that means is we mean it. And I saw you, you know, in this. And, you know, this is, I think, you want still is good. I, I love the dancing. It has a lot of energy, and I felt very moved by it. But I thought, who are these women? Read a book. Read a poem. Is there something you've been journaling? We can explore this on stage during halftime. And if any of those players come out onto the court and tell you to get off, you turn around and say, this is my court. 45 minutes, it doesn't matter. If the game stops, we wait. Your time will not be limited. Infinite. What can you tell us about yourself right now? I was born in Portland. I love pasta. I love salad. I love ice cream. I like summer. So you're the oppressor. You're the sort of old libraries of the past where they didn't like women reading five six seven eight and read and read and read resist and read resist and read if you could just hold a spotlight on her and like like this and madeline so let's have you back here so stare at her there just one of you sort of like this caroline can you cry three of you sort of march past with a flag mm -hmm. Charlotte, Brittany, Andrea. Five, six, seven, eight, and turn, march, turn, march. And you, I want you to take this the right way. 
You go into another room. Just go over there. A room of one's own. They'll feel your absence. Lindsay, if you could do me a favor and just wildly, just, just searching for what happened to my rights. We will not be having music. The sound of my voice will be the only sound we hear. She's gonna do a blood curdling scream and this is the centerpiece to it all. Five, six, seven, eight. Whoa! Great job today. Remember, we have a home game coming up against the Clippers. We're gonna win for feminism. Oh, I like how you sat down the whole time. Womankind won tonight. Feminism won. Nice pout. Candace, we did it. Look at that. We just walked into an office and just changed the world. Oh, those guys look kind of sad. Were they out there tonight? Maybe they're just bummed because the dancers got all the attention. It was a really great night for the dancers. If we can help those dancers, we can help the players. Why the sadness? I don't understand why you're down. That was great. That was unbelievable. We lost the game. Weren't those dancers amazing? So they lost too, because we lost. We know where they were born. We know what their favorite pet is. We know what books they like. We know what razors they use. They read poetry at a basketball game. This whole game thing, I don't, I don't understand why this became a competition. That's the whole point. Tonight, the women won. And you know what? We are all women. Who are you? I'm Robin. Robin, tonight, you're not Robin. You're Robin Woman. You're Thomas Woman. LaMarcus Woman. It's Damian Lillard. Lillard. I'm not a woman. I'm a man. Oh, I don't agree with you. I just don't. What if, what if you guys came out with more than one ball? Wouldn't that be confusing? And then it would be a truly memorable game? I don't think that's allowed. That's against the rules. You know what you do about rules? Throw them out. If we followed the rules, women would have never had the right to vote. Who made the rules anyway? The National Basketball Association made the Instead rules. Instead of basketball, blazer ball. You act like you're on the other team so that they think that you're their friend. You put on a mustache and a hat. You put on your hat like you're going home, like, oh, I'm done. OK, guys, I'm going home. Get your briefcase. I'm going home. Come back, grab that ball, and you actually are in the game. So the other team's so confused. It's not going to work. You guys don't think I know anything about basketball? She, she dated one of the players. Who? Tell him you dated someone on the Bulls, the Chicago the Bulls. The Chicago Bulls. You might have heard of him, Michael Jordan. Cup in Chicago when I was there, and he took me to dinner. Michael Jordan took you out to dinner. It was just the two of us. We ate fish. Guess who paid for it? You. Nope. Mr. Michael M. Jordan. M. Michael Michael Jordan. It's Jeffrey Jordan. Heavy set man, beard, gray beard. 5'7", Birkenstocks. Yellow backpack, a thermos for some reason. Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan. Did he have a hoop earring? No, there was so much hair here that it was just sort of looked like little headphones, like a hair of headphones over his. Where did you meet this guy? Union Station in Chicago. Why would Michael Jordan be at Union Station? He said he lived there. That was not Michael Jordan. Well, I got some free fish, so. Anyway, it doesn't matter. He told me something. You know what's important? Dunking. The first thing you do is you dunk right, right away. So the other team's like, what just happened? You start here, you go into the air, and down into the basket. I think that's flying. We're begging you to dunk more. Please. We want to see a game of all dunking. That's every play. I mean, we can't waste our time if you don't want to just dunk it. Dunk. 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 Come on, stand up. Get dunk. on your feet. Dunk. 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 Tony, look at this. Portland Trailblazers win big by dunking the entire game. So look at these pictures. Wow. They're either dunking or getting ready to dunk. You know, people called me Air Tony in high school.